What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walk through the event Pokemon series. So, in our last episode, we did a 3 for 1, and that is the 3 event Pokemon, Meloetta, Genesect, and I think Keldeo, yes. So now, in this episode right here, holy crud, I was pretty much dreading this one right here because, well, you know, you know how I feel about roaming Pokemon, and there's a little bit of a story behind all of this. In this episode, we're going to try and get Tornadus and see if uh, we can actually get the other two. If I can find the code or anything like that. But Tornadus right here, or if you're playing Pokemon Black, you're going to get Tornadus. If you're playing Pokemon uh, if you're playing Pokemon White, you're going to be getting Landorus. Now, as you can see, it starts raining like crazy. Because early on, when you got to the before you got to the Pokemon League, you were notified that there was a nasty storm heading somewhere around here and this is the nasty storm and the telltale of the Pokemon that you're trying to locate now in the original Pokemon Black Walker that I have actually played in I managed to get this act or get this whole thing activated and then on top of that I found Tornadus and lost it but then I captured it again with a Master Ball and lost that file, lost that, that footage right there. So here we are doing it again. As you can see, this, again, is the telltale sign of Tornadus. Now, if you walk a little forward, he's like, my, my, that Pokemon has come, it come again? Now, now, child, don't you, uh, don't, don't you go heading into that tall grass. That Pokemon might be, uh, might be too much for you. We'll catch a cold standing around here talking in, a, in this wind and rain. It's not much, but come say at my home uh, a spell. Okay, so she notices who we are. And they're gonna... The person right here is gonna start telling me a story about one of, like, one of the uh, legendary genie trios and all that stuff. Even a youngin' like yourself will catch a cold if you get soaked by the cold rain. Sit right down and have some soup, why don't you? Sure. That's nice. A youngin' like you shouldn't be shy. And in the Unova region, you, you see, there is a Pokemon called Tornadus that causes windstorms. Thunderous causes, or, you know, by the name itself, it causes uh, <laughs> thunderstorms right here. It flies around the region while letting loose uh, wild winds and pounding rain. Have some soup now, dear. It'll warm you up. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. We're liking it. A soup jam-packed with healthy vegetables. It's delicious. The heavy rain is ruining the crops I've worked so hard to raise. What a troublesome Pokemon. I thought I would uh, try and, I, I would try to catch it, but it flies around so fast that even I, when I I thought I found it, it just flew away. In one in one day, it may it, in, it could make a lap around the entire Unova region. In the mornings, it's uh, in the south. In the evenings, it's in the north. It shows up here in the evenings. Huh. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense right here. Right now, I would say it's in the afternoon, so it's going to be in the north. And look at that. So we found you. Hmm. Okay. Whew! What a storm! Apparently, it's a Pokemon doing. It's a Pokemon's doing. And it's flown away. Okay. And just like that, nothing. Okay, so again, let's go right inside and see what, what this is all about, okay? Um, let's see. Talk to her in one day, can make entire in the mornings. It's in the south, in the evenings, it's in the north. It shows up here in the evenings. Okay, so right now we are kind of in the afternoon. So it's in the north. So we got to focus on northern areas. So first thing is first, guys. The way you can actually find this guy or can tell where to find him is like this. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go to Nimbasa City. All right. Nimbasa City is going to actually tell us where it's at. Now, if you guys remember those little areas, uh, those little areas with the with the little informational air machines on the top, that will actually tell you where this Pokemon will be by you know its weather, by its weather thing. So if you go right here. July 16th right now and route 16 a very unusual strong storm is happening so route 16 is not so far from here since this is the evening 
So let's go right ahead and see if we can actually find this Pokemon. Now, again, this Pokemon is a roaming Pokemon, so it might not be there. But we're going to go right here. And it is pounding. So the best thing you can do... Are you serious? Yeah, I forgot to battle these people, so let's go right ahead and just destroy them. Okay, so let's go. Strength. There we go. Strength. OP for the win, and there we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is the telltale sign. Good gravy, okay. Again, I completely forgot to battle all these people. Let's just wreck them. And strength, here we go, and there we go, okay. So like I was saying, guys, the rain, the heavy storm, it is going to be right here. So go right ahead and go into the grass and see if you can actually find this Pokemon. And... Not the Pokemon. Okay, so we're going to have to really... Oh, and it is... As you can see, it has escaped, so we'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to actually look for this Pokemon, and once we find it... Bam, we're going to capture him. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So it took me quite a while to actually find this guy. But there it is. We have found Tornadus. The, well, the Tornado Pokemon right here. Now, again, the story goes that I actually did capture a Tornadus back then. While I was, you know, continuing this, this whole walkthrough right here. But then I lost the footage. So what we're going to do before it escapes or anything. Yes, we're going to throw that Master Ball at it. Because I am sick and tired of roaming Pokemon. And look at that. No more Tornadus. Look at you. Okay. So we caught ourselves Tornadus. Okay. Anywho. As you can see, Tornadus, the Cyclone Pokemon. The lower half of its body is wrapped in a cloud of energy. It zooms through the sky at 200 miles per hour. A very, 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 very powerful Pokemon. And I'm, no, no, I'm not going to need you. No. Okay, so there is one little thing that I need to do. I need to check up on this, see if it actually works. But I'll be right back with you guys on the possibility of actually getting uh, Thunderous. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so... Did a little bit of a of a, a cheat code. Don't know if it works, but we managed to get ourselves Thunderous, a Japanese version of it, and it is a an event Pokemon right here too. So let's go right ahead and see if uh, let's go let, let's go see if it if it actually works out right here. Okay. So the next step that we actually have to do is we actually have to go straight to Undella Town. Now. The way this whole this whole thing works is if you're playing both Pokemon Black and White, you transfer the Pokemon over, vice versa. The event will work by itself. It's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like the Ra or the Rayquaza event where you actually have both Groudon and uh, Kyo uh, Kyogre actually uh, transferring over to get uh, Rayquaza. So what's going to happen right here is I'm actually going to use repels and all that stuff just to get to where we need to be now. I don't again I don't know if it actually does work right here. Um, let's see. I am playing the emulator version of this whole game right here. So all you got to do now is actually surf, and you got to actually go across right here, and you'll be finding yourself Route 14, and there will be some trainers right here. And, of course, I have not battled any one of these trainers. Not one of them. So, yeah, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing right here. Alrighty. So, let's see if it actually uh, let's see if it actually works down. Like, look at that. They got a Primate. Huh. I actually did capture one of those Pokemon right here. So, he's coming out with a Scrap Deep. Let's just continue on with Hotshot's powerful punches. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, oh, crap. I probably should have switched out. But, you know what? Strength will actually work. So let's go right ahead, do that, and that is how you do things right here. Okay. So, let's see. Hopefully we don't... Oh, crap, Baskets. They get smartened up and everything right there, so let's go right ahead and just battle. And this is the first one, Numel, 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 Camel, Kumu. I don't even know how to say that, but look at that. Defeated everybody right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on forward again. Wow, we are locating some... Uh, interesting Pokemon trainers right here and let's see what if we cross right here yeah that's probably not the it's probably not where we're oh yeah that's black city okay never mind 
All right, we're gonna have to go all the way back because apparently we have to surf and we have to do some other stuff right here too. Probably crap baskets. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. Once we get to that location, I'll let you know. So it took us a little bit to figure it out, but we have to go into this little area right here in order to get to the last place right here. So this is the Abundant Shrine. Again, if you have a, if you have a thunderous and a land, uh, thunderous and a uh, tornadoes, both from different versions, you will be able to actually uh, activate this whole event right here. And well, let's see. If you talk to this gentleman, let's see what he says. Let's see. Hold on. It is the great landris that protects this land. With its help, we are assured rich soil and uh, everything else. You should visit Great Landris' little shrine to pay your respects. Okay. So landris. Landers is here, or Landers here is respected, while Tornadoes and Thunders are just like mischief, uh, mysterious little people. And, well, let's see, let's go ahead and try and find that shrine. Of course, I'm going to have to speed forward right here, and this is a Chimeco. I always thought a Chimeco actually uh, evolved and stuff, so here we go. Okay, repel. And, well, let's go right up here, and... That is not... Okay, so... <laughs> Never mind, we're gonna have to battle. All right. So again, battling, 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 battling. You got, you guys gotta love this event thing because you know, it's literally the first time you're playing these, these whole things. So here we go, and Sunkern's coming out. There we go, and Sunkern has been defeated. Okay, so let's go right ahead and figure this out right here. That is not the person. Where the heck is that shrine? Again, Jesus Christ, these guys are like. Okay, I'm gonna have to like avoid them, like the plague and stuff. And well, let's go right here. We got ourselves a razor fang. Obviously, we've probably been here before. I just don't remember. And wow, they are—they're literally spotted. They're—they're they're put out throughout their whole location. And well, it looks like to me that we found the place. So let's go ahead and save this game right here. And. Just like in other games, you have to have both Tornadoes and Land or Tornadoes and, and Thunders with you in your team. So if you go up right here, if you wreck if you wreck Great Landris' little shrine, it'll cause a bad storm. That that's not true. The Pokemon that brings bad wind storms is a different Pokemon. No, silly, you've got it wrong. This is the shrine of the Great Landris. It punished a Pokemon that did a bad thing. If you wreck the shrine, it can't punish the, the stormy Pokemon if it comes back. But that doesn't make any sense. If a Pokemon does a bad thing, Great Landris will help us, uh, whether it's a shrine or not. You're the silly one. No, you're the silly. Hey, hey, wait. Okay, so I don't even know what's going on here. This little shrine is dedicated to a Pokemon called Landris. They say that tornadoes and land or thunderous were whipping up storms that damage houses and fields all over the Unova region. Landers made up of this, uh, made them stop. That's a story from way long ago when my grandpa was a little boy. So if tornadoes and land and thunders came here again, the great landers may come back. And from what it looks like, that's what my grandpa told me. They they are back. So if you click on this, it's a small weather shrine and. Tornadoes and Thunders are struggling inside their Pokeballs. And just like that, Landris appears to us. And... Well, it looks like it wants us to battle it. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna save this game. And as always, guys, yes, the code will be on the description below. Uh, believe it or not, it is the Japanese form and it actually does work. Just a quick reminder, if you find it on Super Cheats, it's supposed to say slot one, box one. No, it's slot two, box one. So just keep an eye out for that right there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and put up a Pokemon that can actually go and it's my dreaded enemy, Watchog. So let's go right ahead and see what this Pokemon is all about. Oh. Okay, so round two, here we go. Going up against Landris. Let's speed it up a little and see what we can actually do right here. Here goes a Rock Slide, Hypnosis. Go back to side of the Torrent right here. And hopefully it won't mess this guy up right here. So let's go with the next Scissor. Not so effective. Here goes a Slash Attack. 
And let's go one more X Scissor since it is weak. And it's a Sandstorm, okay. And right there, it is uh, ready to go right here. So let's go right ahead and go back to Wadjog. Put it to sleep and then try and capture this guy. And let's see, Hypnosis, Fissure. It does have Fissure attack, guys, so just be aware of that. Like, it's a 30% uh, chance that it can actually hit you. But the problem is, it will automatically KO you. And yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna try and capture this guy real quick right here with the ultra balls. And okay, so the everything has subsided. Let's go with timer balls right here. Hopefully this will actually work. Good gravy! And this Pokemon has woken up. And okay, so yeah, we're really gonna have to work for this right here. So let's go to Psy. And. Let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon right here. Um, HP restore. Don't you guys love it? <laughs> Let's see. Max revive. Get Watchog right here. And Fissure. It does, it does have five Fissures, guys. So one out of five is, is not so bad. But once it hits you with that one, it will mess you up. And just like that, it's kind of messing us up right now. Good gravy. All right, let's go with Gigalith right here and put in a Reflect right here. That way, this, these physical attacks don't hurt me. And let's see, another Revive. There we go. And Earthquake does not affect me. So let's go again. And let's see, what can we do right here? Watch Og. And Rock Slide hits us. Critical hit? Are you serious? Good gravy. Oh my god, this Pokemon is really getting on my nerves right now. Let's see. Revive. Watch Og. If there's, if there's a time I needed you, it's right now, god dang it. Alright, here we go. And here comes a Sandstorm. And that will hit us just once. And then here we go. Rock Slide. God dang it. Man, that Watch Og is like hating us right now. And, well, let's see. Okay, so those physical attacks won't work. Let's go right ahead and use another crap baskets. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Man, we're, we're having so much fun with this right here. So there we go, Sandstorm. And let's go straight for a Pokemon right here. Watch out, come on, you gotta live. And that right there. Let's go with Hypnosis. There we go, finally asleep. Okay, it's about dang time, and we're gonna get hit by that sandstorm, and... Okay, so our reflects have worn off, so let's go right ahead and start throwing some timer balls right here. This guy... 20 minutes later. Oh, yes! Okay. It's about damn time, god dang Landris. Look at that. Okay, so as you can see, guys, here is Landris. The ground and flying type Pokemon, the abundance Pokemon. Lands visited by Landrins grants each sun, uh, such bountiful crops that is, it has been hailed as the guardian of the fields. Oh my god. You're a dick, man. Seriously. So there it is, guys. We captured Landris. And uh, <laughs> that right there concludes our little uh, event Pokemon thing. And I am surprised at this, uh, this Japanese version of the... This Japanese version of of, uh, of Thunderous actually worked in this whole thing right here. So, I think the last thing we need to do is just check up on the Pokemon that we just captured right here. As many of you guys already know, we already defeated Cynthia right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at what we just captured. I gotta love that speed button right there. Okay, so, here we go. Let's move. And... There is Landris, the level 70 Pokemon. As you can see, level 70, land and flying. And it has Rock Slide, Earthquake, Sandstorm, and Fissure. And its ability is Sand Force, which boosts certain moves in, a certain, uh, in the Sandstorm, which is pretty damn good. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty, so that right there is the three legendary genies of the Unova region. In the next episode, which will be our final episode of these event Pokemon, 
non-event Pokemon too. It, we're going to be going out and capturing Kiram, the one Pokemon that we have yet to capture at all. So thank you guys again for all the patience. Thank you guys again for watching my episode. I will be back for another episode of uh, Pokemon Black, the final episode, the final true episode of this whole thing. See you guys.